Picture this. You're living a life where nothing phases you. No external chaos, no stress, no drama. You're calm, centered, and in control, no matter what life throws at you. Sounds pretty ideal, right? Well, it's not some far-off fantasy. It's a reality that you can create by tapping into the power of Taoism, Stoicism, and Minimalism. These aren't just old-school philosophies. They're roadmaps to becoming truly invincible. Today, I'm breaking down how these three schools of thought can help you let go, level up your mindset, and simplify your life so you can move through the world with unshakable peace and purpose. Let's dive in. Taoism, the art of letting go. Picture this. You're a farmer in a quaint village, living a simple life. One day, your trusty horse runs away. Your neighbors, sympathetic to your plight, express their condolences, saying, Oh, what terrible luck! But you simply shrug and reply, Maybe. The next day, your horse returns, not alone, but with three wild horses in tow. Your neighbors, now excited, exclaim, What incredible luck! Again, you calmly respond, maybe. The following day, your son attempts to tame one of the wild horses, but gets thrown off and breaks his leg. The neighbors, once again offering their sympathies, lament your misfortune. But your response remains the same, maybe. The very next day, military officials arrive in the village to conscript young men into the army. Seeing your son's injury, they pass him by. The neighbors, amazed by this turn of events, congratulate you on your good fortune. And as you might expect, you simply reply, maybe. This timeless parable, often attributed to the Taoist philosopher Chuang Tzu, encapsulates the essence of Taoism's core principle, letting go. It's about not clinging to events or outcomes, but instead, accepting the natural flow of life with all its twists and turns. Like a river meandering through a valley, life doesn't always follow a straight path. There will be obstacles, unexpected turns, and moments of both joy and sorrow. Taoism teaches us to navigate these currents with grace and equanimity, recognizing that every experience, whether seemingly good or bad, is simply a part of the larger tapestry of existence. The farmer's maybe is a profound expression of non-attachment. It's a recognition that we can't always predict or control the consequences of events. What may seem like a misfortune today could turn out to be a blessing tomorrow and vice versa. By letting go of our attachments to specific outcomes, we free ourselves from the roller coaster of emotional highs and lows and find a sense of inner peace that transcends external circumstances. What is Taoism anyway? Taoism, which also goes by the name Taoism, is a philosophical and spiritual tradition that has its roots in ancient China, dating back over 2000 years. Its foundational text the Tao Te Ching is attributed to Lao Tzu, a figure shrouded in mystique and legend believed to have lived during the 6th century BC. Taoism isn't just a collection of ancient proverbs, it's a way of life, a philosophy that encourages us to live in harmony with the natural world and embrace the ever-present flow of the universe. At the heart of Taoism lies the concept of the Tao, often translated as the way. The Tao is the fundamental principle that underlies and unifies all of existence. It's the invisible force that guides the movement of the stars, the growth of a tree, and the rhythm of your own breath. The Tao is beyond words and definitions, yet it's the source of all creation and the essence of all things. It's like the silent current that carries a river, the unseen energy that animates the universe. Taoism invites us to connect with this underlying flow, to align ourselves with the natural rhythms of life 
and to find peace and harmony within ourselves and the world around us. It's a path of self-discovery, of shedding the layers of conditioning and societal expectations to reveal our true nature. Core Taoist Principles The Tao, Wu Wei and Yin Yang To understand Taoism, we need to explore its three core principles, the Tao, Wu Wei and Yin and Yang. These principles are like the three legs of a stool, providing a stable foundation for a balanced and harmonious life. 1. The Tao As we've already touched upon, the Tao is the ultimate reality, the source and principle that governs the universe. It's the ever-present flow of life, the underlying harmony that connects all things. Living in accordance with the Tao means aligning oneself with this natural flow, like a sailboat adjusting its sails to catch the wind. It's about embracing the natural order of things and finding peace in the present moment. It's about recognizing that we're not separate from the universe, but an integral part of its grand design. 2. Wu Wei This principle is often translated as non-action or effortless action. It doesn't mean being passive or lazy, but rather acting in harmony with the Tao, without forcing or striving. It's like the effortless grace of a dancer who moves with the music rather than against it. Wu Wei is about finding the path of least resistance, allowing things to unfold naturally and trusting the wisdom of the universe. It's about recognizing that sometimes the most effective action is no action at all. 3. Yin and Yang this principle represents the duality and interconnectedness of all things. Yin and Yang are two opposing yet complementary forces that exist in everything. Yin is associated with darkness, passivity and femininity, while Yang is associated with light, activity and masculinity. They are not static but constantly changing and interacting, creating the dynamic balance of the universe. It's like the interplay of night and day, the ebb and flow of the tides, opposites that coexist and depend on each other. It's about embracing the wholeness of life, recognizing that every experience, every emotion has its place in the grand scheme of things. These three principles form the bedrock of Taoist philosophy, guiding us towards a life of simplicity, balance and harmony. They encourage us to let go of our attachments, embrace the natural flow of life and find contentment in the present moment. They invite us to cultivate a deep sense of connection with ourselves, with others and with the world around us. Wu Wei The Art of Effortless Action Wu Wei, the principle of effortless action, is perhaps one of the most intriguing and misunderstood concepts in Taoism. It's often misinterpreted as passivity or inaction, but in reality, it's about acting in alignment with the natural flow of the universe. It's about achieving your goals without unnecessary struggle or force. It's like surfing a wave, harnessing its power instead of fighting against it. Imagine a skilled archer drawing back his bow, he doesn't tense up or struggle, he simply aligns himself with the target, releases the arrow and lets it fly. This is Wu Wei in action, a perfect blend of intention and surrender. It's about trusting your instincts, letting go of the need to control every outcome and allowing the natural intelligence of the universe to guide you. In our daily lives, Wu Wei can be applied in countless ways. It's about recognizing when to act and when to wait, when to push forward and when to let go. It's about finding the balance between effort and ease, between striving and acceptance. It's about navigating life's challenges with grace and fluidity, like a river flowing around obstacles instead of crashing against them. For instance, imagine you're facing a difficult decision Instead of agonizing over every detail and trying to force a perfect outcome, 
You can practice Wu Wei by gathering information, considering your options, and then trusting your intuition to guide you. It's about letting go of the need to control everything and allowing the natural intelligence of the universe to unfold. It's about recognizing that sometimes the best decisions are made not through sheer willpower, but through a quiet surrender to the wisdom within. Or consider the example of a writer struggling with writer's block. Instead of forcing herself to write, she might take a walk in nature, meditate, or simply allow her mind to wander. By letting go of the struggle and creating space for inspiration to flow, she may find that the words come more easily and naturally. It's about recognizing that creativity often blossoms in moments of stillness and receptivity, not in moments of forced effort. Wu Wei is not about giving up or being passive. It's about finding the most efficient and harmonious way to achieve your goals. It's about working with the natural flow of life, not against it. As Lao Tzu puts it, by letting it go, it all gets done. The world is won by those who let it go. But when you try and try, the world is beyond the winning. It's a reminder that sometimes the most powerful action is surrender, the most profound wisdom is found in stillness, and the greatest achievements are born from a place of effortless flow. Simplicity and Patience The Taoist Way In a world that's constantly buzzing with notifications, deadlines and the pressure to do more, be more and have more, Taoism offers a refreshing counter-narrative. Slow down, simplify and find contentment in the present moment. It's like stepping off the hectic treadmill of modern life and into a peaceful garden where you can breathe deeply and appreciate the simple beauty around you. It's an invitation to declutter not only your physical space, but also your mind and spirit, creating room for what truly matters. Simplicity. Less is more, more is less. In the Taoist view, simplicity isn't just about owning fewer possessions. It's about a profound shift in perspective. It's about questioning the societal narrative that equates happiness with material wealth and recognizing that true fulfillment lies in experiences, relationships and personal growth. It's like decluttering your mental attic, clearing away the cobwebs of societal expectations and rediscovering the treasures of your own values and aspirations. Imagine your life as a garden. If it's overgrown with weeds of consumerism, comparison, and the constant pursuit of more, it's difficult for the flowers of joy, contentment, and purpose to bloom. Minimalism is about weeding out the unnecessary, creating space for what truly nourishes your soul. It's about cultivating a life where your possessions serve you, not the other way around. It's about asking yourself those tough but essential questions. What truly matters to me? What brings me lasting joy and fulfillment? What activities and relationships make my heart sing? What possessions do I genuinely cherish and use? What can I let go of to create more space for what's essential? By answering these questions honestly, you can start to redefine your priorities and create a life that reflects your true self, not the expectations of others or the pressures of consumerism. It's about crafting a life that is uniquely yours, a life that resonates with your deepest values and aspirations. Patience. The art of allowing. In a world that glorifies instant gratification and quick fixes, Patience is a rare and precious virtue. Taoism teaches us that everything has its own natural rhythm and timing. Just as a seed needs time to germinate and grow into a tree, so too do our goals and dreams require patience and nurturing. It's about recognizing that the most beautiful things in life often take time to unfold, and that rushing or forcing them can lead to disappointment and frustration. Patience isn't about passivity or resignation. 
It's about understanding the natural flow of life and trusting the process. It's about recognizing that some things take time and that forcing or rushing them can lead to frustration and disappointment. As the Tao Te Ching reminds us, do you have the patience to wait until your mud settles and the water is clear? It's an invitation to embrace the stillness, to observe the subtle shifts and transformations that occur when we allow things to unfold at their own pace. Imagine you're planting a garden. You wouldn't expect to see flowers blooming the next day. You would water the seeds, nurture the soil, and patiently wait for nature to take its course. The same principle applies to our lives. By cultivating patience, we can learn to appreciate the journey, not just the destination. We can find joy in the process of growth and transformation, recognizing that every step, every obstacle, is an opportunity for learning and self-discovery. Patience is also about cultivating a sense of acceptance and surrender. It's about recognizing that we can't control everything and that sometimes the best course of action is to simply let go and trust the wisdom of the universe. It's about finding peace in the midst of uncertainty, knowing that even in the darkest of nights, the dawn will eventually break. The interplay of simplicity and patience. Simplicity and patience are two sides of the same coin, intertwined and mutually reinforcing. When we simplify our lives, we create space for patience to flourish. When we're not constantly rushing from one thing to the next, we have the time and mental clarity to appreciate the present moment and allow things to unfold at their own pace. It's like clearing a cluttered room to create a peaceful sanctuary where you can sit quietly and observe the dance of sunlight and shadows. Imagine a cup of tea. If you try to drink it while it's still boiling hot, you'll burn your tongue and miss out on its subtle flavors. But if you patiently wait for it to cool, you can savor each sip and enjoy the full experience. Similarly, when we rush through life, we miss out on the richness and beauty of the present moment. We become so focused on achieving our goals that we forget to enjoy the journey. But by cultivating simplicity and patience, we can learn to slow down, appreciate the little things, and find contentment in the here and now. It's like taking a leisurely stroll through a forest, noticing the intricate patterns of leaves, the gentle rustling of the wind, and the sunlight filtering through the trees. It's about being fully present in each moment, savoring the experience without judgment or expectation. Practical tips for embracing simplicity and patience. Here are some practical tips for incorporating simplicity and patience into your daily life, creating a sense of calm and purpose amidst the chaos. Declutter your physical space. Start by going through your belongings, one room or category at a time. Ask yourself, does this item bring me joy? Do I use it regularly? Does it serve a purpose in my life? If not, consider letting it go. Donate it, sell it, or recycle it. Create a space that feels light, airy, and inviting, a reflection of your inner peace. Simplify your schedule. Say no to commitments that drain your energy or don't align with your values. Create space in your calendar for rest, relaxation and activities that nourish your soul. Prioritize quality over quantity, choosing a few meaningful activities over a packed schedule of obligations. Practice mindfulness. Pay attention to the present moment without judgment. Notice the sights, sounds, and sensations around you. Engage in activities that bring you into the present moment, such as meditation, yoga, or simply taking a walk in nature. Cultivate a sense of awareness and appreciation for the simple beauty of life. 
set realistic expectations. Don't expect overnight results. Change takes time and it's important to be patient with yourself and the process. Celebrate small victories and acknowledge the progress you make, no matter how incremental. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. Celebrate small victories. Acknowledge and appreciate the progress you make, no matter how small. This will help you stay motivated and keep moving forward. Every step towards simplicity and patience is a step towards a more fulfilling life. Connect with nature. Spending time in nature can be a powerful reminder of the natural rhythms of life and the importance of patience. Observe the slow growth of a tree, the gentle flow of a river or the changing seasons. Nature teaches us that everything has its own time and that true beauty often lies in the unhurried unfolding of life. Cultivate gratitude. Take time each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for. This can help you shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a sense of contentment and appreciation. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to the constant craving for more, reminding us of the abundance that already surrounds us. By embracing simplicity and patience, you can create a life that is more balanced, harmonious and fulfilling. You can free yourself from the pressures of consumerism, the tyranny of the urgent and the constant pursuit of more. You can find joy in the present moment, cultivate inner peace and live a life that is truly aligned with your values and aspirations. Remember, the Taoist way is not about striving for perfection, but about embracing the natural flow of life with grace and equanimity. It's about finding beauty in simplicity, wisdom in stillness, and strength in surrender. Stoicism, the power of questions. In the grand tapestry of life, Stoicism emerges as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards inner strength, resilience, and virtue. Founded in ancient Greece around 300 BC, Stoicism isn't some dusty relic of the past. It's a practical philosophy that remains incredibly relevant today. It's like a sturdy ship navigating the stormy seas of life, offering a safe harbor for those seeking tranquility and wisdom amidst chaos. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or becoming an emotionless robot. It's about understanding our emotions, mastering our thoughts, and choosing our responses wisely. It's about recognizing that while we can't control everything that happens to us, we can control how we react to those events. It's like being caught in a sudden downpour. You can't stop the rain, but you can choose to carry an umbrella or dance in the puddles. The Stoic Mindset inner citadel of strength. At the core of Stoicism lies the belief that true happiness and fulfillment come not from external circumstances, but from cultivating inner strength and virtue. It's about building an inner citadel that can withstand the storms of life, a place of calm and clarity even amidst adversity. The Stoics identified four cardinal virtues that are essential for living a good life. 1. Wisdom, the ability to discern what is true and good and to act accordingly. It's about seeing the world clearly and making sound judgments. 2. Courage, the strength to face challenges and overcome obstacles, even in the face of fear or adversity. It's about standing up for what's right and persevering through difficulties. 3. Justice, the commitment to fairness, honesty and treating others with respect. It's about living in harmony with your fellow human beings and contributing to the greater good. Fourth Temperance. The practice of moderation and self-control, avoiding excess and indulging in harmful desires. It's about finding balance and living a life of purpose and intention. By cultivating these virtues, 
we can develop a stoic mindset that empowers us to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. We become less reactive to external events and more focused on what's truly important. We find inner peace and fulfillment, even in the midst of chaos. The Power of Questions – A Stoic's Compass Stoicism offers a treasure trove of questions that can serve as a compass, guiding us towards a more meaningful and fulfilling life. These questions aren't meant to provide easy answers, but to spark introspection and challenge our assumptions. They're like a mirror reflecting our inner selves, revealing our strengths, weaknesses and areas for growth. Here are some of the most powerful questions inspired by Stoicism. What is within my control and what is not? This question, known as the dichotomy of control, is fundamental to Stoic philosophy. It helps us distinguish between what we can influence and what we can't, allowing us to focus our energy on the things that matter. It's like recognizing the difference between trying to control the weather and choosing to dress appropriately for it. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and judgments, we empower ourselves to create positive change in our lives, even amidst external challenges. Am I reacting to the situation itself or to my judgments about it? This question reminds us that our emotions are often triggered by our interpretations of events, not the events themselves. It's like realizing that the feeling of anger isn't caused by the traffic jam, but by our judgment that it's an inconvenience. By recognizing the power of our own thoughts and beliefs, we can learn to manage our emotions more effectively and respond to situations with greater clarity and composure. Is this something worth getting upset about? This question helps us prioritize our concerns and avoid wasting energy on trivial matters. It's like asking ourselves if it's worth getting upset over spilled milk when there are more important things to focus on. By choosing our battles wisely, we can conserve our emotional energy for the things that truly matter and cultivate a sense of inner peace. What virtues can I practice in this situation? This question encourages us to cultivate virtues like courage, wisdom, justice and temperance, even in difficult circumstances. It's like finding opportunities for growth and self-improvement, even in the midst of challenges. By focusing on our character and actions, we can transform adversity into a catalyst for personal development. What can I learn from this experience? This question helps us turn challenges into opportunities for growth and self-improvement. It's like seeing setbacks as stepping stones towards a stronger and wiser self. By embracing a growth mindset, we can extract valuable lessons from every experience, both positive and negative, and use them to fuel our personal evolution. Am I living in accordance with my values? This question prompts us to reflect on our actions and ensure they align with our deepest principles. It's like checking in with our moral compass to make sure we're staying true to ourselves. By living in integrity with our values, we create a sense of congruence and authenticity that leads to a more fulfilling life. What is the worst that could happen? This question, known as negative visualization, helps us mentally prepare for challenges and reduce fear and anxiety it's like shining a light on our fears, making them less intimidating and empowering us to face them head on. By contemplating the worst case scenario, we can develop a sense of perspective and realize that even the most daunting challenges can be overcome. What is the best possible outcome? This question encourages us to visualize success and strive for our goals with optimism. It's like painting a picture of our desired future, motivating us to take action and make it a reality. 
By focusing on the positive possibilities, we can harness the power of hope and create a self-fulfilling prophecy. Am I focusing on the present moment? This question, rooted in mindfulness, reminds us to appreciate the here and now and not dwell on the past or worry about the future. It's like savoring each bite of a delicious meal instead of rushing through it or thinking about what's for dessert. By cultivating present moment awareness, we can experience the richness and beauty of life as it unfolds. Am I grateful for what I have? This question fosters a sense of gratitude and contentment even in challenging times. It's like counting your blessings and realizing how much abundance already surrounds you. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we can cultivate a sense of appreciation and joy that transcends material possessions. How can I serve others today? This question shifts our focus from ourselves to others, promoting empathy and compassion. It's like extending a helping hand to someone in need, recognizing our shared humanity. By contributing to the well-being of others, we not only make a positive impact on the world, but also enrich our own lives with a sense of purpose and connection. What is the meaning and purpose of my life? This question, perhaps the most profound of all, invites us to contemplate our existence and strive for a life of significance. It's like searching for our North Star, the guiding principle that gives our lives direction and meaning. By reflecting on our values, passions and talents, we can discover our unique purpose and contribute our gifts to the world. These questions, and many others like them, can serve as powerful tools for self-discovery and personal growth. By regularly reflecting on these questions, we can develop a stoic mindset that empowers us to face life's challenges with courage, wisdom and resilience. It's like having a wise mentor whispering in your ear, guiding you towards a life of virtue and fulfillment. Stoicism in Action Real Life Examples Stoicism isn't just a theoretical philosophy, it's a practical guide for living a good life. Here are a few examples of how Stoic principles can be applied in everyday situations, demonstrating their transformative power in navigating the complexities of modern life. Facing Adversity Imagine you lose your job unexpectedly. Instead of succumbing to despair, a stoic approach would be to focus on what's within your control. Updating your resume, networking and exploring new opportunities. It's about recognizing that while you can't control the fact that you lost your job, you can control how you respond to it. It's about turning a setback into a stepping stone, using the experience as an opportunity for growth and reinvention. Dealing with difficult people. Let's say you have a colleague who constantly criticizes your work. Instead of getting angry or defensive, a stoic approach would be to examine their criticisms objectively. Are they valid? If so, use them as an opportunity for growth and improvement. If not, let them go and focus on your own work. It's about not letting the negativity of others affect your inner peace. It's about building a shield of resilience against external negativity, recognizing that you have the power to choose your response. Managing Emotions Suppose you're feeling anxious about an upcoming presentation. Instead of letting your anxiety overwhelm you, a stoic approach would be to identify the source of your anxiety and challenge your negative thoughts. Are your fears rational? What's the worst that could happen? It's about recognizing that your emotions are within your control and choosing to respond to them in a constructive way. It's about turning anxiety into action, using your emotions as fuel for preparation and growth. Embracing Impermanence 
Stoicism teaches us that everything in life is impermanent. Our possessions, relationships, even our own lives are subject to change and eventual loss. By recognizing this truth, we can learn to appreciate the present moment and not cling to things that are beyond our control. It's like enjoying the beauty of a sunset, knowing that it will soon fade, but cherishing the experience nonetheless. Finding Meaning in Service Stoicism emphasizes the importance of contributing to the greater good and living in harmony with others. It encourages us to find meaning and purpose in serving our communities and making a positive impact on the world. It's like recognizing that we are all interconnected and that our actions ripple out into the world, affecting not only ourselves, but also those around us. These are just a few examples of how Stoicism can be applied in real-life situations. By incorporating Stoic principles into our daily lives, we can develop a mindset that empowers us to navigate challenges with grace, find inner peace amidst chaos, and live a life of virtue and fulfillment. It's about cultivating inner strength, wisdom, and resilience, allowing us to thrive even in the face of adversity. Minimalism – The Beauty of Simplicity In a world overflowing with stuff, where advertisements scream at us from every corner and social media feeds us a constant stream of must-haves, minimalism emerges as a quiet rebellion. It's like a whisper amidst the cacophony, inviting us to step off the consumerist treadmill and rediscover the beauty of simplicity. It's about finding freedom in owning less, not more. It's about creating space for what truly matters, not just in your physical surroundings, but also in your mind and heart. Redefining Priorities What truly matters? Minimalism isn't just about owning fewer possessions, it's about a profound shift in perspective. It's about questioning the societal narrative that equates happiness with material wealth and recognizing that true fulfillment lies in experiences, relationships and personal growth. It's like decluttering your mental attic, clearing away the cobwebs of societal expectations and rediscovering the treasures of your own values and aspirations. Imagine your life as a garden. If it's overgrown with weeds of consumerism, comparison, and the constant pursuit of more, it's difficult for the flowers of joy, contentment, and purpose to bloom. Minimalism is about weeding out the unnecessary, creating space for what truly nourishes your soul. It's about cultivating a life where your possessions serve you, not the other way around. It's about asking yourself those tough but essential questions. What truly matters to me? What brings me lasting joy and fulfillment? What activities and relationships make my heart sing? What possessions do I genuinely cherish and use? What can I let go of to create more space for what's essential? By answering these questions honestly, you can start to redefine your priorities and create a life that reflects your true self, not the expectations of others or the pressures of consumerism. It's about crafting a life that is uniquely yours, a life that resonates with your deepest values and aspirations. Historical Roots of Minimalism, Ancient Wisdom, Modern Relevance While minimalism might seem like a recent trend, its roots run deep into the annals of human history. From the Stoics of ancient Greece, who advocated for detachment from material possessions, to the Zen Buddhists of Japan, who embraced simplicity as a path to enlightenment, many cultures have recognized the value of living with less. It's like discovering a hidden wellspring of wisdom that has nourished generations throughout the ages. The timeless appeal of minimalism speaks to a fundamental human desire for clarity, focus, and inner peace. In today's world, 
where we're bombarded with messages urging us to buy more, do more and be more, minimalism offers a refreshing antidote. It's a rebellion against the cult of consumerism, a call to reclaim our time, energy and attention from the clutches of material possessions. It's about recognizing that true wealth lies not in the abundance of things we own, but in the richness of our experiences, the depth of our relationships, and the cultivation of our inner selves. Philosophical Perspectives on Minimalism Finding Freedom in Simplicity Minimalism resonates with various philosophical perspectives, each offering a unique lens through which to view its transformative power. Stoicism As we explored earlier, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's within our control and to detach ourselves from external things that can be taken away. Minimalism aligns perfectly with this Stoic principle, encouraging us to prioritize inner values and virtues over material possessions. It's like building a fortress of inner strength that can withstand the storms of life, regardless of external circumstances. Existentialism this philosophy emphasizes personal freedom and responsibility. Minimalism can be seen as an expression of this freedom, allowing us to create a life that reflects our authentic selves and to resist the pressures of conformity. It's like breaking free from the shackles of societal expectations and charting your own course, guided by your own compass. Environmentalism Minimalism also has a strong connection to environmentalism. By consuming less and reducing waste, we can lessen our impact on the planet and live in a more sustainable way. It's like recognizing our interconnectedness with the natural world and taking responsibility for our role in its preservation. It's about treading lightly on the earth and leaving a legacy of mindful stewardship. The psychology behind attachment to possessions. Understanding our stuff. Why do we get so attached to our stuff? Psychology offers some fascinating insights into our complex relationship with material possessions. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, revealing the hidden motivations and emotions that drive our consumerist habits. Identity. We often use possessions to define ourselves and express our identity. Our clothes, cars and homes can become symbols of who we are or who we aspire to be. It's like wearing a costume that tells the world, this is me. But what happens when our identity becomes entangled with our possessions? What happens when we lose those things or they no longer reflect who we are? Minimalism invites us to explore our true identity beyond the trappings of material possessions. It encourages us to find our sense of self in our values, passions and experiences, not in the things we own. Security Possessions can provide a sense of security and comfort. We may hold on to things because they remind us of happy memories or provide a sense of stability in an uncertain world. It's like clinging to a familiar blanket in a strange and unfamiliar place. But true security comes from within, from cultivating inner strength and resilience, not from accumulating external objects. Minimalism challenges us to find comfort in our own being, to trust in our ability to navigate life's challenges and to embrace the impermanence of all things. Status In some cases, possessions can be used to signal social status and achievement. We may accumulate things to impress others or to feel a sense of belonging. It's like collecting trophies to display our accomplishments. But true status comes from our character our contributions to the world and the relationships we cultivate, not from the number of things we own. Minimalism invites us to redefine success and find fulfillment in living a life of purpose and meaning, 
not in chasing after external validation. Fear of missing out, FOMO. In the age of social media and constant connectivity, the fear of missing out can drive us to accumulate more and more stuff. We see others showcasing their latest purchases and experiences, and we feel a sense of inadequacy or anxiety if we don't keep up. Minimalism challenges us to question this fear and to recognize that true happiness comes from within, not from external comparisons or fleeting trends. It's about finding contentment in our own lives, regardless of what others are doing or owning. Emotional Attachment We often form emotional attachments to our possessions, associating them with memories, people or experiences. This can make it difficult to let go of things, even if they no longer serve a purpose in our lives. Minimalism encourages us to examine these attachments and to distinguish between the sentimental value of an object and its actual usefulness or relevance in our present lives. It's about cherishing memories without clinging to physical reminders, recognizing that true connection lies in the heart, not in the things we hold on to. Understanding these psychological factors can help us make more conscious choices about our possessions and break free from the cycle of consumerism. It's about recognizing that our worth doesn't depend on what we own, but on who we are and the impact we have on the world. It's about cultivating a sense of inner freedom and contentment that transcends the material world. Minimalism in practice, from cluttered to curated. Embracing. Minimalism isn't about becoming an ascetic monk or living in a stark white room devoid of personality. It's about creating a life that is intentionally curated, where every possession, commitment and experience serves a purpose and brings you joy. It's like transforming your home from a chaotic storage unit into a serene sanctuary where you can breathe deeply and focus on what truly matters. Minimalism is a journey, not a destination. It's about making mindful choices every day, gradually decluttering your physical and mental space and creating a life that aligns with your values and aspirations. It's like sculpting a masterpiece from a block of marble, chipping away the excess to reveal the beauty within. Here are some practical steps you can take to embark on your minimalist journey. Declutter your space. This is where the magic begins. Start by going through your belongings, one room or category at a time. Ask yourself those three powerful questions. Do I use this? Do I love it? Does it add value to my life? If the answer is no, consider letting it go. Donate it, sell it or recycle it. It's like pruning a tree, removing the dead branches to allow the healthy ones to flourish. The Closet Cleanse Your closet is often a treasure trove of untapped minimalist potential. Go through your clothes and shoes, keeping only those that you wear regularly and that make you feel confident. Donate or sell the rest. Consider creating a capsule wardrobe, a curated collection of versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched to create a variety of outfits. The Kitchen KonMari Apply the KonMari method to your kitchen, keeping only the tools and gadgets that spark joy and that you actually use. Donate or discard duplicates, unused appliances and mismatched Tupperware. Embrace the serenity of a well-organized kitchen where everything has its place. The Sentimental Edit Sentimental items can be the most challenging to declutter, but they can also be the most liberating. Keep only the items that truly evoke cherished memories or hold deep meaning. Consider taking photos of other sentimental objects before letting them go preserving the memory without the physical clutter. Curate your possessions. 
Once you've decluttered, focus on curating the things you keep. Choose items that are meaningful, functional and beautiful. Surround yourself with things that spark joy and inspire you. It's like creating a personal museum filled with objects that tell your story and reflect your passions. Quality over quantity. Invest in fewer, high-quality items that will last longer and bring you more joy than a multitude of cheap, disposable things. Multi-functional furniture. Choose furniture that serves multiple purposes, saving space and reducing clutter. A coffee table with built-in storage or a sofa bed are great examples. Sentimental displays. Create designated spaces to showcase your most cherished sentimental items, allowing you to appreciate them without them taking over your entire living space. Simplify your schedule. Just as you declutter your physical space, it's important to declutter your schedule as well. Say no to commitments that drain your energy or don't align with your priorities. Create space in your calendar for rest, relaxation and activities that nourish your soul. It's like creating a breathing space in your day, a moment of calm amidst the hustle and bustle. Time audit. Track how you spend your time for a week. Identify activities that are time-consuming but not fulfilling and consider eliminating or delegating them. Mindful scheduling. When adding new commitments to your calendar, ask yourself if they align with your values and priorities. Be intentional about how you spend your time. Protect your downtime. Schedule regular downtime for rest and relaxation. This is essential for recharging your batteries and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Practice mindful consumption. Before you buy something new, pause and ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it add value to my life? Will it bring me lasting happiness? Avoid impulse purchases and focus on quality over quantity. It's like savoring a gourmet meal instead of mindlessly snacking on junk food. The 30-day rule. If you're considering a non-essential purchase, Wait 30 days before buying it. This will help you determine if you truly need or want the item. Borrow or rent. Before buying something you might only use occasionally, consider borrowing or renting it instead. This saves money and reduces clutter. Experiences over things. Invest in experiences that create lasting memories such as travel, concerts or workshops rather than accumulating material possessions. Embrace experiences over things. Shift your focus from accumulating material possessions to creating meaningful experiences. Invest in travel, hobbies and relationships that enrich your life and create lasting memories. It's like collecting experiences instead of things, building a treasure trove of memories that will last a lifetime Adventure awaits. Plan a weekend getaway, explore a new hiking trail, or try a new activity that excites you. Learn and grow. Invest in your personal development by taking a class, attending a workshop, or reading books that expand your horizons. Connect with loved ones. Spend quality time with family and friends, creating memories that will be cherished for years to come. Digital minimalism. Don't forget about your digital life. Declutter your inbox, unsubscribe from unwanted emails, and limit your time on social media. Create a digital environment that supports your well-being and productivity. It's like cleaning up your virtual workspace, creating a space where you can focus and thrive. App audit. Go through your phone and delete apps you don't use or that distract you. Social media detox. Take a break from social media for a day, a week or even longer. Notice how it affects your mood and productivity. Mindful technology use. 
Set boundaries for your technology use. Designate tech-free zones in your home and avoid using devices before bed. Overcoming challenges. Navigating the minimalist journey. Embracing minimalism can come with its challenges. You may encounter resistance from family or friends who don't understand your choices. You may struggle with letting go of sentimental items or feeling guilty about getting rid of things you spent money on. It's like embarking on a hike. There may be obstacles along the way, but the view from the top is worth it. Here are some tips for overcoming challenges on your minimalist journey. Start small. Don't try to overhaul your entire life overnight. Start with one small area, like your sock drawer or your kitchen junk drawer. Celebrate your successes and gradually expand your efforts. It's like taking small steps on a long journey, building momentum along the way. Be patient. Change takes time. Don't get discouraged if you slip up or find it difficult to let go of certain things. Be kind to yourself and keep reminding yourself of your goals and the benefits of minimalism. It's like learning a new skill. It takes practice and perseverance. Find support. Connect with other minimalists online or in your community. Share your experiences, challenges and successes. Having a support system can make the journey easier and more enjoyable. It's like having a hiking buddy who encourages you and celebrates your victories. Focus on the benefits. When you're feeling overwhelmed or tempted to revert to old habits, remind yourself of the benefits of minimalism. Think about the freedom, clarity and peace it can bring to your life. It's like visualizing the beautiful view from the mountaintop, motivating you to keep climbing. Reframe your mindset. Instead of focusing on what you're giving up, focus on what you're gaining. Minimalism isn't about deprivation, it's about creating space for what truly matters. It's about trading clutter for clarity, busyness for presence, and mindless consumption for intentional living. The Reward – A More Fulfilling Life The rewards of embracing minimalism are profound and far-reaching, by simplifying your life and focusing on what truly matters, you can experience less stress and anxiety. A clutter-free environment and a simplified schedule can reduce stress and anxiety, allowing you to feel more calm and centered. It's like clearing the fog from your mind, revealing a sense of clarity and peace. When you're not constantly bombarded by visual clutter or overwhelmed by a packed schedule, your mind has the space to breathe and relax. More time and freedom. By letting go of unnecessary possessions and commitments, you free up time and energy for the things you love. You can pursue your passions, spend quality time with loved ones, and simply enjoy the gift of being present. It's like unlocking hidden hours in your day, creating space for what truly matters. Imagine having the time to read that book you've been meaning to get to, learn a new skill, or simply take a leisurely walk in nature. Increased focus and productivity. A minimalist lifestyle can help you focus on your priorities and achieve your goals more efficiently. With fewer distractions and a clearer mind, you can channel your energy towards what's most important. It's like sharpening a pencil allowing you to create precise and impactful strokes. When you're not constantly switching tasks or being pulled in different directions, you can enter a state of flow and accomplish more in less time. Deeper Connections By prioritizing experiences and relationships over things, you can cultivate deeper connections with the people you care about. You can be fully present in their company listen attentively, and create lasting memories. It's like nurturing a garden, 
tending to the relationships that bring beauty and meaning to your life. When you're not distracted by material possessions or superficial pursuits, you have more time and energy to invest in the people who truly matter. Greater gratitude and contentment. Minimalism encourages you to appreciate what you have and to find joy in the simple things. It's about shifting your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a sense of gratitude and contentment. It's like discovering hidden treasures in your own backyard, appreciating the abundance that already surrounds you. By letting go of the constant desire for more, you can find peace and satisfaction in the present moment. Financial freedom. Minimalism can also lead to greater financial freedom. By spending less on material possessions and focusing on experiences and needs, you can save money, pay off debts, and build a more secure financial future. It's about aligning your spending with your values and creating a life where you're not enslaved by debt or constantly chasing the next paycheck. Environmental Responsibility Minimalism is inherently eco-friendly. By consuming less and reducing waste, you can minimize your environmental impact and contribute to a more sustainable planet. It's about recognizing that our choices have consequences and taking responsibility for our role in protecting the Earth. Enhanced creativity. A minimalist lifestyle can also spark creativity. When you're not constantly bombarded by stimuli and distractions, your mind has the space to wander and explore new ideas. It's like clearing a cluttered desk, creating a blank canvas for your imagination to flow. Improved well-being. Studies have shown that minimalism can lead to improved mental and physical well-being. By reducing stress, increasing focus, and fostering gratitude, minimalism can contribute to a happier and healthier life. It's like shedding unnecessary baggage, allowing you to move through life with greater ease and lightness. Minimalism isn't about deprivation, it's about abundance. It's about creating a life filled with meaning, purpose, and joy. It's about living intentionally, making conscious choices, and focusing on what truly matters. As Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus, authors of Minimalism. Live a meaningful life. Eloquently put it, love people, use things. The opposite never works. Conclusion, the harmony of the three philosophies, Taoism, Stoicism and Minimalism, though born in different eras and cultures, share a common essence, a quest for a life of meaning, purpose and inner peace. Like three tributaries merging into a majestic river, these philosophies converge to offer a holistic approach to navigating life's complexities and cultivating a resilient spirit. The interplay of philosophies. A symphony of wisdom. Each philosophy, with its unique perspective and teachings, contributes a vital note to the symphony of an unshakable life. Taoism and Stoicism. Both philosophies emphasize acceptance and surrender to the natural flow of life. Taoism, with its concept of Wu Wei, encourages us to act in harmony with the Tao, letting go of our attachments and expectations. Stoicism, with its focus on what's within our control, teaches us to accept what we cannot change and to respond to challenges with wisdom and virtue. Together, they create a powerful synergy, fostering a sense of tranquility and resilience amidst life's inevitable ups and downs. It's like a dance between yielding and strength, finding balance in the midst of life's ever-changing rhythm. Taoism and Minimalism Both philosophies advocate for simplicity and detachment from material possessions. Taoism encourages us to find contentment in the present moment 
and to appreciate the beauty of the natural world. Minimalism helps us declutter our lives and focus on what truly matters, creating space for inner peace and joy. Together, they create a harmonious balance between inner and outer worlds, fostering a sense of gratitude and contentment. It's like clearing away the fog to reveal a breathtaking landscape, appreciating the abundance that already surrounds us. Stoicism and Minimalism Both philosophies emphasize inner strength and resilience. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate virtues like courage, wisdom, and justice, even in difficult circumstances. Minimalism helps us simplify our lives and focus on our core values, creating a foundation for a more meaningful and purposeful existence. Together, they empower us to navigate life's challenges with grace and fortitude, building an inner citadel that can withstand any storm. It's like forging a sword of resilience, honed by discipline and clarity of purpose. A holistic approach to life, weaving the threads together. When woven together, these three philosophies create a tapestry of wisdom that can guide us towards a life of profound meaning and fulfillment. They offer a holistic approach to living, addressing not only our external circumstances, but also our inner world of thoughts, emotions and values. It's like tending to a garden, nurturing both the soil and the seeds to ensure a bountiful harvest. Imagine a three-legged stool. Each leg represents one of these philosophies, Taoism, Stoicism and Minimalism. When all three legs are strong and balanced, the stool provides stable support. But if one leg is weak or missing, the stool becomes unstable and prone to collapse. Similarly, by embracing the wisdom of all three philosophies, we create a solid foundation for an unshakable life. We learn to let go of what we can't control, to focus on what truly matters, and to cultivate inner strength and resilience. We become more adaptable to change, more grateful for what we have, and more connected to the world around us. It's like building a house on solid rock, able to withstand the winds and rains of life. The journey begins, embracing the wisdom. As we conclude our exploration of these transformative philosophies, let us remember that the journey towards an unshakable life is ongoing. It's not about achieving perfection, but about making progress every day. It's about incorporating these principles into our daily lives, one small step at a time. It's like climbing a mountain, enjoying the scenery and the challenge, knowing that the summit is always within reach. In the words of the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Let the challenges you face become opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Embrace the wisdom of Taoism, Stoicism and Minimalism and allow them to guide you towards a life of purpose, resilience and inner peace. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today and embark on the path towards an unshakable life. The world is waiting for you to shine your light.